welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. And today, guys, I've been thinking really hard what kind of video can I do today? So, anyway, as you know, it's all about food. I'm the foodie. So, anyway, I decided to go to Aldi's and see what I could pick up as far as a pre packaged uh, food, like a lunch. That doesn't have to be microwaved. That can be just slapped together or already, or or if it's already put together. And um, I'm gonna head over to all these guys. Let's see what I can find. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am at Aldi's. I'm getting ready to go in and find my quick lunch. And uh, I think I'm gonna bring you with me. Show you a little bit of the store. A few little glances of what I might be picking. So anyway. Stay tuned. Let's let's go on this Aldi's adventure, guys. Let's find a quick lunch at Aldi's. Okay, guys, what did I get? Let's find out. <laughs> Let's get set up. Get our our trusty steering wheel tray out here. And let's see what kind of lunch I'm gonna have from Aldi. I was really shocked. They have water, diet sodas, regular sodas, you know, sugar sodas. Got me a diet coke. I was shocked that they had to had uh, cold sodas at Aldi. Last I knew they didn't have those. So I got some pineapple spears for a little something a little sweet. I got some dates. Do you guys ever eat dates? Eat a couple of them. They taste like candy guys. I know I'm weird but these things are good. They taste just like candy. I got summer caprese salad. Pasta salad. And I'll tell you the prices here in a minute. This looks really good, guys. And I figured I needed a little more protein. This has cheese in it, but I got some grilled, what's it, grilled chicken breast strips, southwestern. So these are already cooked, so I can shake some of this chicken in there. Okay, let's talk about the prices real quick. So... I'm really shocked, guys. So I can make two or three meals out of this. I really can. This is a pretty good size proportion of, of uh, pasta. So the pasta salad here in Ohio, they're charging $5.29 for. And they had a couple different pasta salads. And they had some smaller ones, too. And the shareable ones. Um, these chicken strips chicken strips four dollars and 29 cents i've had these before i've put them on salads i thought it'd be good to add protein to this and my dates this big pack of dates how much were they four dollars and 99 cents and the pineapple how much was the pineapple three dollars and 49 cents for this big thing of speared pineapple Get this bag out of the way. It's driving me nuts already. Not got a fork in here. I know I have a plastic fork. Got to use up some of these plastic forks I've been getting from the restaurants. I hate plastic forks, but we're going to do it. But all of this and my drink, what was my drink? Mm -mm -mm. They charged $2.08 for that drink. I could have swore it said $0.99 cents on the thing. Oh, well. And the bag, the paper bag, $0.12. Cents. This all came, this all come to, came to the total of this with the taxes here in Ohio was $20.43. Now I have to say, if this is a good little lunch, this is cheaper than buying a lunch from somewhere else. I, I mean, I have to say that. And I'm going to get multiple meals out of this. So let's open this salad up if I can. 
Do you ever fight with these lids and stuff? Okay, where's the opening? Oh my goodness. Oh, this smells really good. So, summer caprese salad with cherry tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, red peppers, uh, mozzarella, and roasted garlic vinaigrette. It smells amazing. Take a good look at that. This smells amazing. I got to try it without any chicken in it. I got to. Let's see if I can get some of these roasted red peppers. Regular tomatoes. Oh, my goodness. That's really good. I need to find a napkin. I know I got some. Oh, that's really good. Okay. I got to add some of this protein. Some of this chicken. I can have a little extra protein. I'm just going to shake a little bit in here, guys. That's all I'm doing, shaking a little bit. It seals back up. So I'm heading to work. I'll have to put this stuff in the refrigerator at work. But wow, it's good without the, without the chicken guys. It is, it's good. Mm. Okay. Before I eat any more of this and before I tell you about it, I please ask you to subscribe, guys. Show the subscribe button some love. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. And if you've already subscribed, or if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. But can you give me a thumbs up? Just need a little support for my channel. And I thank you for everything, guys. I thank you if you give me a thumbs up. I thank you if you subscribe. I thank you immensely if you do both. So anyway, this salad... This pasta salad from Aldi, okay, if you've ever seen my channel before, I am a pasta snob. If the pasta is mushy, I don't like it. If the pasta is too crunchy, I don't like it. It has to be al dente. It has to have a little bit of a chew to it for me to enjoy it, okay? And this does. It has a little chew. It's not mushy. Oh my goodness. If you need a quick lunch for work, or if you're out shopping and you just you're starving and you can't afford to go, you know, to McDonald's or Burger King or all that, keep some silverware in the car. Keep some napkins in the car. And get this. This is good. I thought that mozzarella. would be in a little bit bigger chunks. It's not. It's like shredded mozzarella. But these tomato, the fresh tomatoes in here and the sun-dried tomatoes. I'm trying to get one out. See the sun-dried tomatoes? Oh my goodness. And there's like little chunks of onion. I can't. Hold on. That's good. And then that chicken in was, that was a good idea. That's a great salad. Mmm. I dropped my soda as I was checking out. So I just cracked the top a little bit. Can you hear it fizzing? Trying not to have a an explosion. Can you hear that? Oh. <laughs> I want to drink so bad. Is it done? I think it's done. Yeah. I wanted to sip so bad. But this pasta salad's good, guys. Get it. 
where's the lid? I wanted to show you the, the lid to it again. Get it. It's good. They had another one. I can't remember exactly what all was in it. But this one called to me a little bit more. The vinaigrette is in it is good. It says garlic vinaigrette. It's not super strong garlic. It's like perfect. It's perfect. Who would have known? Okay. I'll eat more of this later. I wanted to see how fresh these uh, pineapples are that they have cut up. Big, humongous uh, spears, guys. Look how big these spears are. See how big that is? Let's try this pineapple. Fresh pineapple. Mmm. That's so juicy and sweet. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's good, too. Oh, my goodness. I can't get it off my fork. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Mm-mm-mm. Those are nice and sweet and juicy. Mmm. Now I got pineapple in my teeth. Like pineapple and oh, paper paper on my finger. I got pineapple in my teeth. Goodness, goodness. This is a great lunch. This is a great lunch for a quick try not to break the bank. I'll have this for dinner too. Oh my goodness. I'm going to try, I'm going to show you these dates. Now, a lot of people use dates like in cooking, like in baking, and of course, I can't get it open. I can't get it open, guys. Try not to use my teeth. Do you ever struggle this much trying to get packages open and stuff? Oh, my God. If you've never tried a date, I think, the, are these pitted? You gotta make sure I'm not gonna be biting into a pit. Oh, I can't see. Well, I just have to be careful here. It says refrigerate after open. May contain pits, but I think it's been pitted. Okay, I think it has been pitted. Mm-mm, I got pit. But anyway, a lot of people use dates like in baking. It's like a sweetener, like a natural sweetener. I love them. I like to eat them just like this. Now, these ones have a pit in them. Some of them are already pitted. Just be careful. You don't eat the pit and choke on the pit. But if you like fig, like fig newtons, you like that kind of... Now, it's kind of got like a pasty taste, like a texture, okay? But it's so sweet. It's like candy. Had to get rid of the pit. <laughs> it's just a little seed. But these are so good. Just the... I eat like two or three of them and it's like eating a candy bar. That's how sweet these things are. But like I said, the texture of them. The first time I had them, I'm like, ooh, they're kind of like pasty. Like, have you ever been into a Fig Newton? How that's kind of like the Fig Newton has got that pasty like... That's the best way I can explain it. But they're sweeter than figs to me. But I like figs too. Like you can buy figs, dry figs. I like those too. And I like the dates. They're really good. Really good little snack. It says put them in the refrigerator. So I'll have to put those in the refrigerator when I get to work. But really guys. If you're out running errands. And you can't afford like I said to go to fast food or whatever. Keep some silverware in the car. Keep some you know, napkins in the car. I mean, while you're out shopping, you can grab that pasta salad. 
They got chicken salad too. Their chicken salad is fairly good too. I thought about getting that and they got those bagel fins and putting some on that and making like a sandwich out of it. But that pasta salad called to me today and I'm, I'm so glad I got it. I'm so glad I got it. Um, but anyway, guys, you made it this far. You're my crew. I'm, I'm betting you subscribed. If you like these kind of videos, I thought about doing Trader Joe's. I also thought about doing like Kroger's and Giant Eagle. Because like our Kroger's has like, you know, pizza and chicken and stuff like that. I thought about doing a series of some of those videos. Just like this Aldi video. Go in, get a quick lunch, tell you if it's any good. But man, if, I, if I'm going to rate stuff, this pasta salad, pre-made pasta salad... I got to give it a nine. It's a nine. This would be good to take to a cookout. I mean, it says six servings. So if you had quite a few people, you can get a couple of them or a couple of different ones or whatever. But for the price, that's, it's not bad. It really isn't. And the fruit is fresh. Those pineapples are sweet, fresh. I couldn't ask for any better pineapples. Those are a 10. And these dates, I mean, if you like dates, you're going to rate these high. Um, they're not the best brand of dates that I've had. Uh, you can tell they come from Aldi, right? But they're a, they're a nine. They're a nine. This, this is a really good lunch. So anyway, guys, I guess that's it. That's it for today. Like I said, if you like these kinds of videos and you like me to add them in every once in a while, because all these restaurants, I like doing the, you know, the new things at these restaurants and you just get tired of that, right? And they don't always have new stuff. They don't. So I'd like to add in some new stuff, like, uh, what are we going to call these? Grocery store lunches? I don't know. What should we call it? But anyway, let me know in the comments below, guys. You know, do you like this type? Do you like the food truck videos? Uh, give me some ideas. Or, I don't know, if you have another idea of what to do, let me know. Comments below. I love hearing your guys' ideas. I love hearing your guys' comments. I just love the interaction. I love the interaction with my crew. I really do. I love you guys for it. Keep being you. And like I said, let's be respectful. Let's be supportive. And you guys are. And I love you for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. But I'm going to quit rambling, guys. I hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack, guys. But most of all, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.